Everybody and welcome to Improvised Chemistry. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to customize your own sodas. So I'll be teaching you guys how to make sodas pretty much. So what you'll need is some juice. So I'm going to be using this mango juice. And to that, all you need to do is add some dry ice, which looks like this. Dry ice is extremely cold. Uh, read all the warnings and stuff in the description below. All right. So I'm going to wash that with some drinking water to make sure it is all nice and clean. Then I am going to uh, drop it in there. Now that it is nice and clean, just like that, I am going to just put it into the drink. Just put directly put it in the drink very carefully. You don't want to add too much drink to the cup or else it might spill out. So all you do is just let that bubble away and when it's done bubbling, it should be soda. The reason for this is because the dry ice is actually solid carbon dioxide and if you dissolve carbon dioxide into water, it turns into carbonic acid and that's what makes it taste like soda. So uh, we'll be back when it's all done. Alright, here's the finished product. I took out the dry ice. There's a piece of regular ice in there. So let me uh, take a sip out of this. Mm, that's actually... That's really nice. You can definitely taste the fizz of the soda. But it's like... It's a lot stronger than um, the soda you probably would um, by the supermarket. It's definitely, um, stronger than that, the fizz. Alright, well, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.